I want to show this only for a brief minute. I don't want to run out of time on this presentation, but um, the desktop, uh, is it desktop home? Here we go. This guy, I think. This is the first thing you're going to launch, probably. Um, go ahead, you're going to start flying probably here in a second, too. Place hands above the motion controller. So this is kind of just a demo of like, okay, what could you, what could you possibly do, or what can you do with it? Press any key to continue. So while Jim is playing here, I'll give you a couple of the tenets that Leap has a lot of documentation on. This is how you need to deal with um, reality-based interfaces when you're dealing with your hands. Okay. Um, you can see he's in a box right now, and the box is supposed to limit kind of saying, hey, you're, you don't want to make people's hands move all over the place or really far to the side or really too high. They limit you, and that, that's probably one of the reasons they limit the tracking um, so low is that yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious. What um, are you doing like as a box fan? Here. Um, as well, you'll see, I kind of, as he's playing, it might, it might kind of, oh, it's pressing a key into you. It kind of gives hints. Look, when you're doing uh, things where the keyboard's not involved, you have to kind of give hints to the user of what you could possibly do because they won't really know because the interface is just kind of using a natural, naturally, it's walking, you know, moving his hands around. Um, he wouldn't know necessarily to pick up one of the keys and put it on top of them, but it did say, hey, you know, go ahead and do this, please. So if I let him play, I mean, it, this is definitely a half an hour thing because it goes from one demo to the next demo to the next demo. Like, the next demo has like a flower, you can pick all the petals and stuff, like love me, love me not, all this kind of stuff, right? So it's kind of cool, I mean, you can see like how accurate is it or how accurate is it not, you know, it goes back and forth. I mean. To me, it's, it's pretty good in the demo, but when we're actually programming stuff, sometimes it's a little bit difficult, so. Yeah, that's cute, okay. <laughs> I was, you're, you're taking care of them. I was just like smashing them around. <laughs> Get out of here. They die when you take the head off, right? I mean, they, they don't move anymore. Okay, that's fine. That's probably more fun than you're gonna have anything else. I have to that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we kind of saw, hey, you can measure X, Y, Z input with this stuff. Um, same kind of in our world, right? Our world has XYZ. The leap is measuring his hands in XYZ. The leap is doing it, I think, in millimeters, though. So there's going to be a conversion that you kind of have to move through to get it kind of interacting with our 3D world. All right, so uh, leap gives you an asset package for free. So when you're trying to integrate leap with a 3D world, they give you a zip file. It says, hey, here's some stuff we created for you. We're going to look at a couple of these, but you can see these are kind of four controls they give you to uh, interact with. Um, so we're going to import their package, and we're going to run one of the scenes that they've given us. Where are we at? Here. Again, we go to assets. We say import package. We say custom package. This is again at the asset store. I'd already downloaded it. It's a much bigger file, 225 megs. I'm zipping it. This is the graphics card in there. Is pretty much just a. Like Card, so that's a good question. <laughs> um, I'll click import and we'll talk about that briefly. <laughs> um, Unity's requirements, I think, I don't think they're not high, G. You might, you might have read these too. Unity's itself requirements, yeah. it, um, they're not ridiculously right, high. Right. I honestly think they're probably five year, six year old type hardware. Yeah. Um, and I, they, I'm guessing that this could even run with, on a weak 3D graphics card. Um, right. you, could, you can do this development on a weak 3D graphics card. It, it doesn't necessarily need a really high frame rate um, to be developing, let's say. Nope. When you're executing it, maybe it's a little bit different, okay? The Leap has some requirements too. I had requirement slides and I deleted them because I already have way too many slides, okay? But, because this stuff you guys can Google really quick. The Leap, uh, th these requirements are not very high either. It's the Oculus that is really gonna kill people. Um, that Rift there, even on the, when it comes out, virtual reality comes out, I think early next year for that thing. It wants a, uh, we're gonna get to the slide, it wants a GTX 970 and AMD 290X. So I think those are 350, 400 bucks right now. And I'm running with the 980 Ti in, inside that box right now. I'm like, don't, you know, there's no way it can't run on this thing. I'd be surprised if it didn't run on it. But it, it can, I can write some bad code and it's, it's definitely not running fast enough. So it's not necessarily what's running in the box. But okay, so I don't know what we do. We imported the packages. I don't know what this is about. Um, so I want to show you, I want to show you the leap scene that they included. Uh, and the, the widget scene, really briefly. There you go. Scenes. There you go. Main, main camera. Okay, so we're gonna get into this ourselves, basically. So I'll just let it start. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time here. I'll press play, Jim. You're gonna have to do something here. Uh, so <laughs> this way, I, I don't want to tell you what to do. Basically, just kind of think what you want to do. But you're not facing the, the best way. Let me maximize that um, so you can yeah. see a little better. Maximize on play. So you're facing the screen is probably easier, but okay. Uh -huh. well, you kind of guess on what you want to do. So these are some controls. Go ahead. And your hands are available now. Yeah, your hands are, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a jam of 
Fight Club, man. <laughs> You're so close. I really think you must be so close. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So I don't even have to press. touch anything. Yeah, you don't have to touch nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to touch. Yeah, there's no yeah. touch, right? There's no feedback. There's no, there's feedback. no pressure feedback. No right? <laughs> so were you waiting for the pressure feedback? <laughs> Your hand is up in the air. It's real. This is an eighty dollar device. Right? <laughs> Nobody's expecting over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's my coworker, so I can make fun of him. Yeah, but that, that was that was cool too, right? I don't know. I was trying to grab it. I'm like, what the heck is this thing? You know, it's a slider. Yeah. Um, you should be able to. I think you should be able to poke it kind of and just move it. So what's happening right now with Jim is. Um, his hand is in the 3D world, but yeah, yeah, his Z and he's not pushing, he's not going far enough in the Z index of the world, right? So he's getting close to it, and he's not pressing it. So even when we try to integrate this into our own code right now, we're going to see what's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> you almost, dude, you almost. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one really quick thing here: when I was using the VR and demo and stuff, you have a, you're blocking your face, right? And I'm trying to play with the leap at the same time. I almost punched my hand through my monitor because I'm like, dude, what Jim is doing, like, whoa, like, stay back there a little bit, but. Right now, you're so far away from anything. But. So uh, I want to show, like, hey, how can we integrate this button, right? So I'm going to get away from that. I think that's what my next demo is. OK, we're going to create our, a new scene now. We're going to try to integrate you know, whatever you're doing there. We're just going to try to integrate a hand you know, into the scene. Okay? And we're going to change their graphics model. This will be kind of cool. Question? OK, so does it matter how the Leap device itself is positioned in relation to what you're seeing on the screen? Like, yeah. Would you if you so if you flipped it around, it, everything would be back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. And actually, okay. I've, I'm cheating with one of the scripts. If we get to it, and if I go fast enough here, okay, cool. I found a problem with one of my scripts for last night. I didn't have time to fix it. The X, Y, Z coordinates there. I need to translate them into the real world, and I translated uh. them. But if my camera is not the same that if the camera in the in the game is not set up as the same way my leap is, where X is like this, Y is like this, Z is like this. It's not moving my objects the right, right way. Right. Right. Um, and that is, I'm sure I can fix that. I just didn't have time. I okay. mean, it's, it's just a Googling thing there. But cool. There's sounds good to me. There's also a mode where you can actually flip it upside down. Yeah, that's so what I was going to ask. The top. Okay. So um, yeah. So one thing is, I did not do that here. Uh, I did not do that here. I didn't want to damage my Oculus a little bit. But yeah. you were um, the real demo was I wanted uh, in, uh, mounted on the Oculus. Okay. Because what will happen is when we get in the virtual reality section very at the very end of the presentation, we will try to have hands involved at the same time, so there's just nothing going on with his hands, right? If we don't have the time, I'll try to jump to it. I'll try to code it really fast for you guys and get and just get right to it. Um, okay, so what we were going to do, though, is we want to include the leap now into our scene and just try to change the graphics. So I created a new scene by saying file new scene, and I'm actually going to save it. Um, we're going to call it, instead of my first scene, we're just going to call it the title screen. Let's go to the main camera. Where are you, main camera? Because I'm in the game, sorry. OK, main camera. So Leap has all this stuff that we imported. So I think in their prefabs, they have, I hope, they have something called a hand controller. So I'm going to move it into the scene, and I moved it into the scene. So I'm just going to do something, because you guys might not know. It's not big enough uh, where it starts off, and you can see like, kind of the range of the hand. So I'm going to move right like that. And I'm going to say, hey, move yourself to the camera. So the camera right now is at position 0, 1, negative 10. And I'm going to just move it you know, kind of close to that. Or right now, I could actually put it was, was one, 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 sorry. Thank you. Um, it's too close. I'm, to save time, I'm going to try to move it into the right position for you guys just to show you, you know, kind of where it would be. This is what you might do initially. Let's hit play, and we'll see what happens. So I included this leap thing. Go ahead and try to put your hand in there. This is where I'll get where. There we go. I'm trying to keep your hand straight on it, um, like you're facing it. Or otherwise, well, otherwise sit back there. Probably the way your hand is going to manipulate your finger okay. like that. Thank you. So yeah, like that. Yes. Yeah. Ah. So um, you can see kind of wherever I placed it. It's maybe not in the perfect position. So we want to change it. So what I'm going to do is stop the stop the game, and I'm probably just going to move it down a little bit, I think, and, and maybe closer, and see what happens now. This is what you'd be doing if you're trying to integrate. And yeah, it, it, it kind of looks okay if you move your hand around. It looks like <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So in an okay position. Okay, that's weird. Um, <laughs> did you actually do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Double or super no, dexterous, right? Yeah. <laughs> Double jointed. Um, okay, uh, so what I want to show you though is you can change a hand model, which is very cool. So if you go to the hand controller, which I just imported from Leap, it has all these graphics models here. Um, it says left hand graphics, right hand graphics, can't read it totally. Left hand graphics, right hand graphics. If I click on it, it might, um, it might actually give me a preview. It does not exactly. It says clean robot left hand. It's basically full. It's basically what we've been seeing. 
I want to give Jim a different hand. So let's say, <laughs> we'll keep him human, we'll keep him human. Um, I'm trying to find like the not the not white person's hand. <laughs> so it just feels weird. Um, pepper, dark, cut left, probably. Let's see. Pepper, dark, cut left. Uh, okay, so these are the images that you know, come with the with Leap, right? So if I click on hand controller, I can actually take some of these images and say, hey, I want to use that as my left hand graphics model, and I want to use this. And you can mix and match. I'm not going to do that to you, but yeah, I can mix and match. Right here. Um, go ahead and try to put two hands in this time, and it, will, it should use a different model. There you go. <laughs> So it's kind of interesting, right? Um, one other thing is you can actually put your uh, app own hands into the game, right? So right now we're modeling with a 3D graphic, but I could uh, I could turn the camera on, I think, on the leap, and then it will it will try to take Jim's hands and you know move them as his actual size and stuff like that. It's a little bit creepy sometimes, dude. But I always move my hand like that's like sometimes like really accurate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do though is you're having fun there. Okay. What we're gonna do is put a uh, put that button in there, right? So we wanna. They have a, I think in their, I hope in their widgets that we were uh, showing, if they have a prefab, they would have that button. So I'm going to take that button and try to move it in here. Same thing I found with the button. First of all, it's not even close to where it needs to be. Um, it's way too small, so I'm going to try to scale it, just get it to be a lot bigger. I can't see it, so let's get close to it. And we're even under, under this, I think we're under the level there. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's get it into position better. and bring you in. So you want to use this, if you click on the leap, it kind of tells you, hey, this is the range of motion that I can capture right now. So you want to get this thing kind of like into, into the zone where it needs to be. And it's, uh, you know, debug it, change it, debug it, try it again. So I'm putting it pretty close. Oh, cool. Okay, it's not too bad. Can you get something that low, though? Probably, probably not. Yeah, and it feels, there you go. Okay, cool. It's a little bit far away, so I'm going to move it up, probably, and just move it a little bit closer for you, and this, this should be pretty easy for you. Hopefully it's easier closer. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is I want to interact with this button, all right? So I put my cheat scripts here just so I don't forget this stuff. But um, basically, we want, to, we want to write a script that will allow us to interact with when the button goes on. So uh, let's go back to the presentation, because I believe that's what we're talking about. Okay, so we have the toggle button there. We're going to create a script now to try to load the level up, um, load our first level. So we can kind of call this the title screen of our application. So if we go to the, uh, the button itself, we can see it, our, it, has a, it has many things composed in it. Okay, we won't look at stuff too closely, but it has something called a button. If we look at the properties, it already has a script on it called button demo toggle. For now, I'm just going to open this just so we can kind of see you know, what, what the heck's going on inside the script. It minimizes everything. Um, it has something called buttons turn on, buttons turn off. So basically what I could do is come directly into the script and just kind of modify it right now. Um, I prefer to actually write my own script though and not change you know, whatever they have. So we can do that. You can add as many scripts as you want to the same object. So what we're going to do is say add component. We're going to say new script. We're going to say start game maybe, start game script. Create an ad. Now we have our script down here. I'll double click it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I can open this side by side. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is basically say, hey, I want to inherit from the same thing they've got, button toggle base, whatever this is. So I'll just do that. Uh, I think Visual Studio will get mad at me and it'll say you don't, uh, you need to have a using statement there. Um, if we look at this and it's hiding all these. Okay, so these are not methods that it are on that class. Okay, so I, I just delete everything. And it's going to basically say, hey, you're not implementing this class correctly. You need to have these methods on them. So I'm going to say, okay, fine, implement them for me. And it has now buttons turn off, buttons, buttons turn on. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is, hey, when, when Jim clicks on it, he turns the button on, I want to just kind of see, did, he, did I get that? So I think Unity, if I use Unity here, I think it's Unity Engine. You can do debugging, right? Um, there are a couple of interesting things. You can say debug log, and we can say, hey, I want to say, Jim clicked it. <laughs> I hope you can click it here. OK, so you don't have to build it. Again, we just kind of, OK, we saved it. So let's go back to Unity. It's still here. We'll hit play. Oh, um, we'll look at the console, right? Um, this is where you're going to get all your debug information. We'll just hit play. Sorry, it's in the, don't do it yet. It's in the maximize uh, world. So if you, if you click this button here, you can maximize it. Of course, it's great for playing, but for you know, debugging stuff, you want to still see all your windows. So I'm going to say, let's not maximize it for now. I'm going to try to click it, and we'll watch this console window. And it says Jim clicked it. 
Now this is a bug in the API. It clicks it, it clicked it twice. It's just it's just how it is. I, I've noticed it's just getting clicked twice there. But it's fine. It, it's kind of that's where I wanted to be. Um, the other thing is, this, I hope this doesn't crash, but I wanted to show you this because this is really cool. You know, I can just say start debugging. Just like anything else, it's now it's running. Um, I'll say play here, and try to click it now, Jim. I'll interrupt, and there it is. Boom, it's in there. So this is beautiful, right? I mean, this is totally not like Notepad-ish. Like this is basically the exact same stuff we do at work for the most part. Write broken code, try to fix it, but you look at it and never end up fixing it, right? <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So instead of this stuff, though, we don't want. I think I'm stopped now. Yeah. We don't want to do this. We actually want to load up a level. So this one line of code, basically, we're gonna write here. I think it's load level. And it wants an index or a string. So uh, we can just kind of make a guess that the string is probably the name of the scene, right? We're trying to change the scene. So if we go back to our scenes. We can see our our just call my first scene. So I'm gonna say my first scene. We're going to see what happens now when he clicks it. Uh, sorry, is it running yet? Here, this is the one in. It's not running. Uh, there you go. Okay, so it says, hey, this scene can't be loaded because I can't find it. Um, so basically, we, it's saying, hey, I can't find it in the build. Okay, so you actually have to create a build now and say these are all the levels you want to include. So how do we do that? You just say file, and you say build settings. And then there, I'll say, hey, these are all the scenes in the build. So what is a build, actually? These are the levels that we want to give to somebody else as a package. Like, let's say we zip, um, include this as an EXE. These are all the levels. Like, we want to include the title screen. We want to include the actual game. So what that means, though, is you could have all these other scenes that are kind of development test scenes that you're not including on the thing you're going to deploy. So in this case, we want to just add everything. Okay, so I'll just say add current, which is that's one of them. And I'm going to switch my scene now to this guy, and I'll add him as well. So we'll say build settings. Add the current one, okay, and we'll run this now. So now we have the scene in the build, so let's see what it complains now. There, so it's changed the game, right? So that's cool. So one thing is I won't go back to that scene, because I noticed last night that the lighting seems to be messed up. I think this is a bug in Unity. So you can see, like, hey, it didn't reapply the directional light that we had. It's really dark. So that's basically that for that scene. I just wanted to show you guys that, hey, you can interact you know, with Leap and you know, create buttons that they already have. Do, and um, you know, get their get their events basically attached to them. Okay. We won't get into this portion basically, but uh, you have all these gesture types that you can do. Okay, so in the code, it's not too it's pretty trivial to capture a horizontal swipe, a circle gesture, a key tap, or a screen tap. So you know, if we have some gesture. I don't know why, but uh, initially I was programming where if I spin my finger, I get the cube to spin. I spin it the other way, it spins the other way. It's not super reliable. I don't know how far you've gotten with that, but it's, it's, it works well enough, you know, to, to read out the values. So these are probably more for application stuff, but not necessarily for a game. You know, you might have a, uh, you might have an application where you're trying to swipe stuff back and forth on the screen. Okay, physics. This probably won't last this long. I'll try to get through this a little quicker. Um, okay, so we want to add a little bit of realism to our world because right now it doesn't seem too realistic. So let's try to add some textures and some water. Let's say. Go back here. Go back to the scene. We'll double click on our camera to see kind of where we're at. Okay, so this doesn't have a texture on it, it's just a big terrain. So actually if you click on terrain and you can see here it has this icon here that's basically allowing you to select a texture. We'll say add texture. Um, actually what will happen is it won't, it won't find the textures I want to use. I actually want to use the environment textures that Unity includes uh, for you. So I'm going to say import package, I'm going to say environment. So again, these are things that Unity gives for free. Um, I'm just taking one of them there, and it has all the stuff that we're going to have there. It's important. Is that a once per? It's project? once per. Yeah, it's once per solution, basically, okay. right? So okay. if I change to another scene, I still have access access to these assets. You don't want to import the whole world, right? Everybody wants to check all these things and say start the project. You has a button there that says you can check all or something. You now made a project that's like one gigabyte in size. Like if you go send to somebody, right? It gets packaged. All stuff gets zipped up, and it gets necessary. So you don't want to include things that you don't necessarily need. Um, okay, so now we incorporated this. We imported this thing called standard assets. Um, and there, you will, we will see what's going to happen. But basically, I'm going to say I want to I want to uh, give this a texture. Let's edit the texture. Add a texture. And I think the so it has these textures. So I'm I'm going to try to use. Let's see, I'm just looking grassy stuff here. Uh, 